Hello everybody! This video is about the new LDMOS amplifier controller and in this short clip I will focus on the ALC circuit, the automatic level control, which prevents you from overdriving your very expensive LDMOS transistors. This is the ICOM IC7300. I have selected a 4 dm band and FM mode to get a constant power output. First I set the ICOM to its minimum drive power which is below 1 watts and here you see that we get uh, about 140 watts after the amplifier. Now I increase the drive power from the ICOM and the amplifier's output goes up to 800 watts. The 7300's output is now set to about, let's see, 13% which is usually a bit more than 10 watts, between 10 and 15 watts. But let's see on the instrument how much drive power we get from the ICOM. It's 3.3 watts only, because the ICOM is already limited by the ALC circuit. Now I set the ICOM to its full power setting of about 100 watts, and the instrument shows a maximum of 4.5 watts. So you see the ICOM is at 100% and we get only 4.5 watts into our amplifier. So the ICOM is limited and the LDMOS amplifier is now safe. This is a very important security feature in addition to the protection diodes at the gate of the transistors. The ALC measures the current consumption of the amplifier and reduces the drive power if it exceeds a limit. And this limit can be set with this trimmer here in a wide range of about 20 to 50 amps. So finally, let me show you how that works in the circuit diagram. This is a measurement of the current consumption of the amplifier. We are using an INA193 chip, which is a high side current detector, which is connected to a 3 to a uh, 2.5 milliohms shunt resistor. The measurement voltage from the INA then uh, goes up here to the circuit of the ALC which is basically an operational amplifier which the 50k pot and because the ALC is a negative voltage we also use a TC7662 voltage converter which generates the negative voltage for the operational amplifier and this is how the ALC is generated and works very well. Thank you for watching!